How's it going? It's PM Designs, and I just wanted to have, make a little quick little video here. Um, if you picked up the Nikon Key Mission 80, which you'll see this one I've done a little bit too, I'm going to make a video talking about that. But the, uh, the AA4 holder that it comes with, one thing, which if you notice mine is missing something, I kind of did a little bit of trial and error and figured out that the way the camera turns on and off and switches into the modes when you put the camera into the holder is that there's a little magnet which is underneath this little uh, little piece of plastic pretty thin it's just glued in place on the back of the uh, on the back of the A4 um, so if you're wanting to use this and be able to clip the camera into it um, as so and not have it Come on, and not have it turn on and off every time you take the camera out um, or put it in, you know, turn the camera off like it's set to def default to do. Um, basically, what I did is you can just take a little, a little pick or a knife or something and kind of get in the edge, or if you can catch it in the middle, and just basically get something to kind of pry this piece of uh, piece of plastic up and out. Let's see, the magnet's now stuck here. Oh well. Um, but basically if you take that out now the only issue that you'll now have is that when you put the camera in here the modes for doing the time lapse and doing the uh the different photos where it'll take you know a photo every so many seconds or video and all that um those are no longer going to work because it needs that magnet in there to know that it's in this particular holder for me it's not a big deal um I wanted to be able to put it in this holder and then take this little uh, little Velcro strap that they give you and then basically be able to put this on the back and then put, you know, pass, pass my belt through here and then have this mounted on my belt and I can get kind of a POV camera whenever I go to, you know, the store to pick up something for a DIY project or, or something. So for me, that little modification plus um, I was looking at the at the tripod holder and it doesn't look like you actually can open this side door to have access to charge it while you're recording um, which that is something I found out that you can do is you can use the camera while it's charging you can't use it while it's plugged into a computer but as long as it's plugged into you know a, a 12 volt or not 12 volt a, a USB power source not a computer um, you can use the camera and record while it's charging too. So, um, I'm also going to look into, I found out a quarter, quarter inch uh, bolt will pass through here. So I'm going to try and figure a way to modify and figure a way to attach this to my vehicle mount so I can have a basic little, uh, vehicle mount for driving videos and stuff like that. So just trying to make a little bit more use out of this a four mount before I spend money on the, uh, I guess it's the AA-1. It's the tripod mount that this sl this camera slides into. So, um, yeah, just basically, like I said, if you can get something to get behind where this, this uh, little plastic piece, um, a knife or a dental pick or other kind of pick, um, and pop it out of there, um, you'll probably scratch the plastic a little bit around there, but and then um, if you want to put this back in there, I'm assuming you could just super glue this back into place or some other kind of adhesive and just re-adhere this back in there. So I wouldn't throw this magnet and this backing piece, backing piece of plastic away, but there you go. So if you've been trying to figure out um, how to modify this to where it'll work differently for you, there you go. Thank you for watching.